grande blonde roast. I can do that one as a pour over. It will just take a couple minutes, or I can use a blonde americana. Um, what's the difference for a pour over? I don't. Um, a pour over is just not like our traditional brewed coffee. Um, we just pour the water directly over it through the filter. Is the it americano is just going to be the blonde shots with water? Oh, is it? Is there really a difference with the pour over, taste wise? Not too much of a taste, no. Okay, just do a pour over then. Okay, and what size is that one? A grande. So a grande blonde pour over for you. Oh, uh, curly, just black for you. Yes. Okay. And then a venti chestnut praline. Okay, the latte. Yes. Okay, perfect. Anything else? Uh, no, that's it. And do you want that praline hot or ice? Hot. Okay, perfect. All right, and what's the name for your order? Carrie, C A R R I E. All right, thank you. We'll have that up your brain window. Thank you. All okay, right, so Paul's the one who likes the blonde rose. I don't even know what the difference is between that and pour over. I'm not really like fancy with Starbucks drinks, but um, hopefully, hopefully it won't uh, be different. So, um, I know when I am with him and he orders that and they're like, oh, we can do a pour over and he's like, oh no, just give me a pike. Um, I think it's more so, more so for like time wise. So hopefully, like I said, it won't be, won't be too bad, but. So I just um, dropped Riley off at dance about 20 minutes ago. She only has an hour class on Saturdays and I ran to Walmart to return. We bought, well, I bought Barkley a dog bed for Christmas because the one that she has, it's been almost five years. Um, this will be our fifth Christmas with her and she um, she needs a new bed because when she was a puppy, she destroyed it. So now it's just at that point. But I bought like this cute little like ivory gold one and it is, it's more of a festive one for the holidays. Um, hold on one second. Yes. Can we be there? And that'll be a few minutes for the pour over. Sounds good. Can I have a um a stopper for the pour over one? Okay. Not for the not for the latte. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You too. All right. So as I was saying, so the, if I can remember what I was saying, the bed that, okay, this one's turning that way. The bed that I got, uh, Barkley was like more of a holiday one. So Paul's like, it, it wouldn't match our living room area where she has her bed. But Paul's like, I don't really like it. And I wasn't too thrilled with it either. All right. So I'm actually, waiting for Riley right now in the parking lot at her studio. But um no as, as I was saying, so the bed um we he we went to TJ Maxx and we ended up getting a pink one. Paul's like he didn't know if I liked it when he went and he saw it, but he's like, oh totally so it's nice um pink and fluffy. So returned that one and then we have that and it's cuter. It's bigger and it's fluffier and obviously it's all year round. So but um yeah, I just got done with Walmart and then I decided to get Starbucks as you saw. So, um, I got one for Paul and then I got one for myself. There's like, but I mean, just not really. So, um, but yeah, so hopefully, like I said before, hopefully the, the pour over does not taste any different. There's nothing written on his though. So I don't know, but it's nice and hot. So yeah, so. Riley, she only has about a half hour left of dance. I'm gonna go in there in a little bit um, to see what they are doing. Um, and then we are gonna go home. So we, Paul and I had plans today for kind of like a day date. We want to, and I'm really crossing my fingers that this does happen because our neighbor called us and needs help with something. So Paul looked at me, he was supposed to work on the finishing the walls up in the bathroom and 
he kind of looked at me and I'm like, well, I'm like, we weren't going to leave right away because the other day they, him and his electrician hooked up the bathtub. So we have a jacuzzi and that's all set. So bathtub's all set, ready to go. And he can now close the walls up. So my closet actually is on the opposite side of the bathtub. So he goes, I need you to pull out your stuff. And I need you to um, make, you know, just put it on the bed because I need to make an access panel. I'm like, oh goodness, which involved me, you know, not so much taking the clothes out, but I had to take my shoe container out, one of them, and then my shoe like cubby hole, which was heavy. And thank goodness I had felt on there and I was able to drag it because to take out all the shoes and pull it out and then flip on my over to take in a long time. So, but I have all of the kids' Christmas presents in my room and in my closet. So I had to take everything and put it on the bed and hide everything that wasn't visible, that wasn't in bags. So Paul and I have actually slept on the couch for the past two days. Oh my goodness. So the first night when um, his electrician came over in the evening, he's like, he just looked at me and I want to say that was Thursday night. So Riley came home. I you know, picked her up from dance late and then it, it was later in the evening. He goes, He's like, I'm not going to make you put all that stuff back. I was like, that's fine. So he's like, well, actually, he couldn't. I couldn't even put the stuff back because the electrician, blah, 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 the electrician came Friday morning yesterday. So he goes, it, I'm not going to make you put it all back and then have to take it out in the morning. So I was like, thank you. So he's like, let's just sleep on the couch. Well, I actually had a good night's sleep on the couch. I don't know what it was. We watched a movie and we just fell asleep. And actually, Riley was with us and she fell asleep on the couch with us. So... Uh, yesterday morning they finished what they needed to do and Paul's like okay you know once you know everything's all cleaned up my vacuum could, it just needs to be wiped down and then you can put all your stuff back well yesterday was really really crazy I had so much stuff to do before our Girl Scout meeting and then I'm like you know what it, by the time it was late at night and we had dinner and everything I looked at him I'm like I'm not putting that stuff away because not only do I have to put the stuff away but I want to organize what um, we have for each kid for Christmas and he goes that's fine he's like sleeping on the couch again tonight I was like well it's you know what Friday night um we'll watch a movie so we did we watched last night we watched Beauty and the Beast with Bella Mason was upstairs he came back downstairs a little bit um and finished watching like the last like 40 minutes of the movie but it was really really cute Bella's like I like it but I don't because it was half human half animation and I thought it was really cute I was getting goosebumps Martin Short was Lumiere and he was awesome as Lumiere um but she did like like Bella did like the movie we all liked really like the movie but it was just it was different but I told Bella I'm like this is almost like like a Broadway musical play and that's why it's different she's like she didn't understand because she's never seen anything like that before but she know it was really really good so we watched that and then Bella went to bed and then me Riley and Paul watched another movie and then of course we fell asleep so all the three of us on the couch again so um yeah so we did that and then um so I obviously like I said to do the stuff so my goal for this morning is when Paul goes after I'm done with picking up Riley taking her home that Paul goes to the neighbor does what he needs to do over there and I'm like please don't stay there that long because we have a lot of stuff to do like this is the last Saturday before Christmas and he goes it's fine he's like you know I'll be done right away so I'm actually gonna go through all their stuff and figure out what I still need for each kid um I know one thing we do need is stocking stuffers we have not done that yet um, but that was one thing that we were going to work on today was stocking stuffers. So we were going to go shopping, see if we do need anything. I don't think we need anything for Bella or Mason. I think they're completely done besides stocking stuffers. And then I don't know if I want to get something for the older girls. Um, I just want to see what I have. So I'm going to be doing that when I get home. And then, like I said, guys, cross your fingers that we go out because, um, I told Paul, I'm like, well, let's do an early dinner today because I want to get home. I don't want to be home too late because the one thing I don't like about going out, like, it's freezing right now. It's 24 degrees. I don't feel like being out at night when it's this cold and actually it'll be even more colder. So I'm like, I just like to be home nice and toasty. So hopefully we're going to do that. And who knows? I don't even know what to do for them for stocking stuffers because I hate, like, I don't like just giving them candy. They got that from St. Nick. I really don't want to give them any more candy. So... Hopefully we, find, we can find some good stuff. I think I actually have stuff for the older girls stocking stuffers wise. Um, but the younger kids, we're gonna have to figure that out. So but yeah, I'm gonna go and check my mail and then I am gonna go probably go in the studio in like five, 10 minutes to go watch Riley 
in her class. what is in our wine calendar for today so here is number 17 okay and this this end over here is really hard to get off but we will try oh looks like it's gonna be another white and it is looks like man it looks like it's green all right let's see what's in the cheese advent calendar so number 17 there it is all right, let's see if I could even open it now. Oh, there we go. And it is, it is smoked paprika gouda. All right, so we went to Target, as you saw, to get some things, and we actually ended up being in there for over three hours. It was crazy. We ran into something we have not seen for couple years so we were talking to them for about two two and a half hours it was it was crazy before we even started shopping so we were supposed to go out to dinner night for date night we did not do that so we actually just really fast finished shopping got what we needed and then came home and then you saw the kids had pizza so the kids had pizza and then Paul actually just ordered some food for me him and Riley and they are about ready to go pick it up themselves, but I got, uh... Hello. <laughs> I got little Miss Isabella here with me. I have a really, really bad headache because I have not eaten anything I all day. I my mama. I know, mommy's got a really bad headache, though. I'll spend time with her and make her feel better. Yeah, this is my one that takes care of me. No, I haven't eaten anything all day. It's just crazy. Didn't, I don't even know where the day went. Like, we... What we really had dance today, and then we um I got I got a cook edge. Um, we went to we came home, and then Paul had to quickly do something at the neighbor's house, and I just was gonna start I you know edited my vlog for tomorrow, and that's all done, and then I was I was cleaning up my bedroom because I'm pretty sure I told you guys this how I had to take everything out of the closet when we slept on the couch for a couple days. So I was moving that, moving all the Christmas presents that I was, you know, I had in my bedroom. And then we went to go out and Paul is actually not feeling well right now. He actually has to go to the doctor to figure out what is going on with him. So that has been a dramatic thing for today. But um, yeah, we got a late start. Late start, yeah? Yeah. So we should have, we were supposed to be home early and it's just, it's been a crazy, crazy, kind of been a crazy bad day. Just a little bit. Yeah. yeah, crazy bad day. So I actually was supposed to come home and the kids were supposed to open their advent calendars and they have not opened their advent calendars in since probably Thursday. So Thursday. So probably three days. Yeah. We're gonna do it tomorrow though. We're all tired, right? Not me. <laughs> not you. Yeah, we're all tired. And yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're all tired. No, we're just gonna rest for the rest of the night. We're gonna. And I'm just. And we will spend time as a family and watch movies mm -hmm. and and poopsies and big shark and stuff. Well, Mason's already down, so Daddy's gonna just get us watching some food. Baby shark and stuff. Yeah, so we're just gonna lay low tonight. I I still have not finished my Harry Potter Christmas tree. I'll just do it with Mama. And we'll do it tomorrow. I, I can't. I have like literally, I, I don't, you know what? I don't care because even though Christmas is in a week, um, we still have two weeks, three weeks after Christmas. I don't care. It's still going to be out for a while, but it's all out. So I think. I don't care either. I know. We're just going to do it tomorrow, hopefully, because we're not doing anything. We're not, well, I shouldn't say we're not doing anything. We're just not leaving the house tomorrow, but, um, we have no CCD in the morning. It's so exciting. Actually, yeah. We could sleep in if we want to, yeah. which I won't. But yeah. I can do self-care Sunday, which I'm going to. With me. 
yeah, you can do self-care center with me. But, um, ugh, I'm gonna end this vlog. Wow, two days in a row, I am ending Vlogmas. I ended it yesterday and today, it's crazy, right? Yeah. So, on that note, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs, thumbs up. up, subscribe thumbs to thumbs. our family channel, which is mine, and Bella's. <coughs> Yeah, subscribe to both channels and hit that notification button just so you know when we post our videos. And see you guys in our next video. Bye.